Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 204 for our brand new Let's Play. Today we are going to be playing... Hold the Wii Remote Sideways, my favorite game! <laughs> We're going to be playing Wario Land Shake It for the Nintendo Wii. Hooray! This game is made by Goodfield Games that made such amazing games as Kirby's Epic Yarn and Yoshi's Woolly World and uh, also uh, the upcoming Yoshi game, which I'm really excited for. Uh, this is the last Wario Land game, I want to say, before they like transition to making only uh, game uh, like WarioWare type games. Um, I don't know if, uh, Master of Disguise counts at all, or when that was made. That was made after this, right? I think so. Uh, but anyway, Wario Land Shake It. Uh, this is going to be a blind let's play, because I have either never played this game or only played, like, the first bunch of stages. I don't think either of those save files are mine. We're gonna be going to save data three. But, uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this. Um, I've wanted to play this game for a while. Uh, people have been asking me to play this game for a while, not necessarily for the channel, just in general to try it. And I love the Wario Land series. Uh, you've seen LPs of Wario Land 2 and Wario Land 3 on my channel. Um, eventually I'll do 4 and 1. Eventually. Uh, one day I'll do Wario World if I ever get the game, because it's annoying to get without it being too expensive. But for now, uh, let's go with this. One thing that excited me with this game is the art style. It's like very cell shade, not cell, yeah, I don't know, cell, comic. It's, it looks like a comic. And it starts with an anime opening. With our favorite pirate. Uh, good times. I have no idea what kind of voices they should have, but... It's mine! It's finally mine! The bottomless coin sack is mine! Oh boy! Uh, with every shake of fortune and coins burst forth from its limitless depths! Oh, this game is gonna be so suggestive now that both this legendary treasure... ...and... Aw, she's cute. This enchanting young queen... Belong to me! No! Ha! Even <laughs> disdain is lovely on this face. Shake Dimension, trouble before your new king! <laughs> oh, good, one of the Jinjos escaped. My beloved queen! Don't worry, I'll rescue you somehow! Jinjo! Come on, guys, that's a Jinjo. That can't be, I mean, it, maybe it's an elf thing, but that's a Jinjo. And that's Syrup the Pirate, who is, like, antagonist in the second game, and kind of... No, no, she's just antagonist in the second game, right? She's the bad... Yeah, she's the villain of Wario Land 1, also. Hello, package from Mr. Wario. Yeah, I just love that there's an anime opening. And he has his car. How's that work? Wario, a little present for me to you. The real treasure's inside. Enjoy. <laughs> just just alright. Let's get ready to smash this thing. Let's not even look at it. Oh, hi. Jinjo! Sorry. Please, you must save her! See this terrible pirate, the shaking, he attacked us! He does not care. He invaded our home, the shake dimension. Shake, shake. I managed to get away, but all my dear friends were captured. And then that brute stole the shake dimension's greatest treasure! Oh, wow, treasure. Tell me about the treasure! The treasure? Um, yeah, it's a magic sack that never runs out of coins, no matter how often you shake it. Oh, how do you get to the shake dimension? 
you can get there through this telescope. Without the help of my captured friends, you'll be stuck there, stranded in my world. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. I want money. I'm sorry. You'll help us, right? Then let's go. Just have to move my thing. Follow me. Yeah. So I'm actually looking at the uh, manual that came with the game. Yeah, this is back when they had manuals. Remember manuals? Also, yeah, this is the art style of the game. It's fantastic. <laughs> It's like cartoony, and it really, really pops with, like, the style of Wario. Like, this is, like, this is, like, a perfect transition of a Wario Land game to a console. In my opinion, anyway, uh, art style-wise. See, for Wario Land 4, there was, like, a really yeah, great... Hey, it's Sarah. For Warland 4, before we go into this, there was like a really great uh, manual that came with it that was just kind of like, starts off talking about Wario's day, and it's just like, the best thing. If you got Warland 4 on the Wii U, the manual is like a digital thing, please read it because it's absolutely hilarious. It doesn't look like that they really transitioned that into this one, um, but they did like, put it a little bit in into the um, like a page or two of, of tutorial telling you how to play the game so um, anything like I don't know just anything that's ever written in Wario's like you know first person Wario is fantastic <laughs> sometimes you might see something weird happen to me like catching on fire or being covered in snow I know it's a bummer to see me looking a little less cool than usual but don't worry there's probably something even cooler that I could do when I'm on fire. Things like that. Yeah. Uh, but if you've played Warrior Land 4, we all remember Rochi. Anyway, um, Murphly. Murphle? It's probably Murphly, but its name is now Murphle. Mr. Warrior, welcome to the Shake Dimension. Ah. Oh boy. Mm. <laughs> Hold on there, moment now. Our greatest treasure, the bottomless coin sack, has been stolen. Stolen by a vicious pirate known as the Shake King. Oh boy. Don't get your long johns in a twist. I've, I'll, I've a way to find the Shake King. First you have to beat the bosses who rule the five continents of this here world. Gosh, I almost forgot, Mr. Warrior. You have to collect the five boss emblems. Without those, you can't find the Shake King's ship. That's for my queen, Queen Merelda, is being held against her will. Please, Mr. Warrior, I beg you, save Queen Merelda. In other words, wherever this Queen Morelda is, we should also find the bottomless coin sack. Get me? What do you think, Warrior? You think you can handle it, handsome? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you! Excellent, now let's decide. Let's not waste any more time. Why don't we warm up by grabbing the treasure off this ship? Yeah, I'm good for treasure. You can handle this yourself. I'll try trying to hog all the treasure, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how you want it. Uh, for the moment, we'll split up. Mr. Wario, if you save my friends, I'm sure they'll be up along the way. Careful though, Wario. Once you rescue a Murphle, get back fast. If you don't return to the starting gate fast enough, you won't be able to take the treasure you found with you. Mm. Well then, I'll leave it to you. See you around, handsome. Good luck! So, uh, kind of like in Wario Land 4, uh, there's a time limit once you find the Murphle. Uh, instead of, like, the keys are. But yeah, tutorial time. Uh, just, just look at this art style. I love. It's kind of weird that there's, like, a sidebar. I don't, I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it makes it like forced four three, which I guess isn't terrible if that's what they want to do with the game. It just looks kind of weird on my end. Let's just scoot ourselves. <laughs> just look at the animations; they're great. Anyway, okay, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, so you hold the controller sideways, as we saw at the beginning. Uh, two is jump. Down is going to pipes. I assume that the walls aren't like... Yeah. Sorry. I assume that the walls aren't, um... Breakable. Yeah, we got Murphle syrup. Oh boy, it's made out of real Murphles. It better be. I have no idea what the things on the top are for yet, aside from my health, but we'll probably find that out. 
it seems that there are three treasures in each uh, level as opposed uh, in addition sorry to challenges of some sort on the left side there it's nice that the controls are kind of simple <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> I'm probably gonna do that every single time I pick up a bag. Just go, ah. <laughs> uh, good, you automatically crouch, that's nice. Or you automatically slip through things. Uh, you can pick stuff up and throw it. Okay, so you twist the. Wiimote to throw, and that's actually kind of nice. I don't know how it's going to be for precision throwing. Or, not precision, um, it's, it's good for precision. How it's going to be for time, like, trying to throw things fast. Six week old curry. If this is anything like uh, Master of Disguise, all those things are going to have, um, uh, what's it called? Like, little descriptions. Jump off of Bandanero's head. <laughs> Alright, so that was one of the missions. Uh, since this is a blind let's play, I don't know- Oh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this is a blind let's play. Since this is a blind let's play, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, like, do- Come on, game, do all the missions. Um, but- I'm gonna try my best. Oh, okay. I don't need to jump for that. That's cool. Oh, that's what the middle thing is for. Nice. Alright, alright, alright. Cool, cool. Okay, so I assume every level has a golden enemy to find. There's your ground pound. And now we gotta do the super butt stomp. Just like Wario Land 4. So this... Come on, game. So this seems to be like basic Wario Land 4 controls minus like the ram attack with the R button. Because surprise, there are no shoulder buttons. Uh, let's get in here and get launched out. Okay, so this replaces the ram attack. Got it. Okay, um, this is great. But by, by the way, I love Warrior Land 4. It might be my favorite, but also, like, Warrior Land 2 and 3 are my favorites. Although, Warrior Land 2 more than Warrior Land 3. So it's probably like 2, 4, 3, 1? For the numbered guys, maybe? Um, oops. Sorry, dude. I love it. You don't curl up into a ball, you just. Xylophone down. Fickle compass. That's, that does not sound very reliable. Oh, can you shake enemies? That's cool. Oh, you get health. Yeah, the surprise, that's health. Okay, so let's try that again. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's you literally just press change to press the other way to change directions. Dang it! I wanna keep going. I gotta keep going. Gotta make that. I gotta make that. I don't remember seeing other people do let's plays of this. I feel like M Missy did a let's play of this, but I I don't remember seeing it. I know Proton John did a. Uh, Oh, I have to pick it up. Uh, come on. Uh, there we go. Hello. So yeah, just like the keys are, you gotta get out of there. I know Proton John did on stream recently, but um. No, I gotta get all the money. Go, 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 go! Move, move, move! Um, I assume there's no, like, other weird things to find here, so let's get out of here. 
I assume that third challenge is like a, a point goal, like in the first game. Or like in four. I'm gonna call four the first game, because this is like four. Collect 10,000 coins? What? How do you get 10,000? Wow. I don't think I screwed up. I just... Hmm. Interesting. But yeah. Uh, if you guys want to tell me in the comments if getting those challenges means anything other than completing the challenges, I'll do them, like, off-screen or something. Uh, but in the meantime, let's check out our treasures. Murphle Syrup. Thick, sweet syrup made by Murphle's love and a zesty blend of 11 herbs. Okay, KFC. Uh, Six-week-old curry. The pirate galley cook recommends curry be aged properly before eating. And... Fickle compass. This compass points north, or whatever other direction takes its fancy. That's not, that's not safe. Do we have media? I hate the media, it's a bunch of liars. <laughs> nope. We do not have a sound test. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty good for our you know let's check this out uh, let's enter room on the sweet stuff because apparently that's a thing and then we'll end off and <laughs> welcome Wario come on in since you won't be needing me on your trip I'm opening a pirate shop to celebrate our grand opening I'll give you a special deal on area map number one Thank you. Oh wow, okay, so apparently those area maps, oh wow, those area maps uh, let you go to the next world, so you need a certain amount of money to go there or something. Restores your hearts, extend your life, oh that's cool. Alright. Really digging the music also, but like the thing that's getting me the most here is the art style. So, alright, I guess that's it for the pirate shop. So, in the next episode of Wario Land Shake It! Shake, shake? No, no, it's not um, Mischief Makers, unfortunately. But, uh, in the next area of Wario Land Shake It, we are going to check out Area 1! Look at this fancy, fancy area. Wow, it's all sparkly. Anyway, uh, let's watch Wario's butt wiggle <laughs> a little bit. And thank you all very much for watching. I hope you join me on this Let's Play. And next time, again, Area 1. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.